When Joseph Haydn left the Austrian royal court as musical director, he came to England. He visited Oxford to receive a doctorate of music from the university and performed at the Sheldonian Theatre, the music you can hear now, Haydn's Symphony No. 92 in G, the so-called Oxford Symphony. By that time, the Sheldonian was already 120 years old and was designed by Christopher Wren, whose most celebrated works include London St. Paul's Cathedral. The theatre is one of Wren's first works, and its classical influence is said to be drawn from the much larger theatre of Marcellus in ancient Rome. Completed in 1668, the theatre was funded by Gilbert Sheldon, Chancellor of Oxford, Archbishop of Canterbury, and former student of Trinity College, Oxford. The interior, with its painted ceiling by Robert Streeter, court painter to Charles II, depicts the triumph of religion, art and science over envy, hate and malice. The theatre can hold up to a thousand people and is used for public ceremonies and concerts and the conferment of Oxford University degrees. The powerful stone head set in a commanding position on the top of the curved railings on Broad Street at the back of the Sheldonian are something of a mystery. They are known in Oxford as the Emperor's Heads, though precisely who they are and what they represent is unknown. The Sheldonian is open to the public, though there is an admission charge, but the views over the town from the cupola on the roof make the effort of climbing the stairs worthwhile.